a major political crisis. Though Senegal has avoided a military coup that has hit other countries in the region, the opposition says it is witnessing an actual constitutional coup. President Macky Sall, who has completed two terms, has delayed elections and this has sparked massive unrest in the country. In fact, there have been protests on the streets and chaos inside the parliament. Our next report gets you all the details. Back. This is Senegal. What is going on in Senegal? For the past three days, I've been following this news and I thought it will calm down, but it is just getting bad. The Senegalese uh, president has decided all of a sudden to change an election that is due this month. Um, it was unexpected, so the people said, you know, we are not taking that. They even vote in a parliament, but as you know, the opposition can never win in a parliament. So a fight even broke out in a parliament, and what they did is they walked the opposition out. So people were angry and took on the street um, to fight this, what they call uh, the con constitutional coup. There is something I never hear before or never happen in this. We heard of coups, but no constitutional uh, coup. This is the first. Um, we are seeing something like a peaceful country. We tend to something less. We pray not, but the people are serious. The position leaders are very serious and they are giving warnings. We don't know what will come next. We, let's pray that Senegal will, you know, whatever is going on will come to agreement and solve this. The president has changed some of the constitutions before and that's why people are angry. They, they want to do things to sue them. There, there is a rumor, um, sorry, there is a rumor going around that um, the person that he wants to come after him, maybe he will not win the election. He's not strong enough to win, and he wants his party to be in power. That's the only way he will also have power. So um, he has to postpone it up to December so they can, you know, wait and get someone appropriate that they believe strong in him that will win, which is like a cheating because you are cheating the opposition people. You want to be in power. You want to hold on. You don't want to go. And that's why the people took on the street. Um, the ECOWAS has come in to also say they are paid. They have given them warning that they should reverse. He, the president should reverse what he said. The election should come on this month as it's supposed to come on. For the meantime, please, let's listen to two of the protesters what they have to say about the reason why they are risking their life to be on the street to protest. I'll be back. Thank you so much. To grow. They're planning on keeping the, the power for, for, more, for another six months. But it's just a beginning. It's just a beginning. They're going to go on and on and on and on. We don't know. So we just, everything we want is a fair election. Election, that's all we want. We don't want anything else. That's it. We have no problem in this country. The politicians have a problem among themselves. Makisal should not change the constitution of Senegal because he found it here. But he respects neither Senegal nor the Senegalese people. He's here for himself and for his personal interests. On Monday, Senegal's parliament voted to delay the presidential election until December 15th. Unruly scenes unfolded inside the parliament as the opposition called President Sal the architect of Africa's latest power grab. Yes, and they don't need anything. All they want is to vote. Democracy is what it's called. So they want the chance to vote. They don't want anything else. And for Macky Sall to change everything, that makes them annoyed to be on the street. And the lady also said that he's for himself. You know, this is the beginning of it. I think they feel that if they keep quiet, then there will be another thing coming. So they have to stand up against it before uh, he bring another law or any other order again into the system. 
So that's why they are on the street. Uh, I'm afraid there will be more coming and uh, we don't want anything like that in Africa. Not now. We don't want it. The world is rough already. We want peace. So I'm praying and let us all pray that there will be peace. They will find a peaceful solution to what is going on because a country that is peaceful cannot all of a sudden turn to what it is now. Some people are insinuating that because the Sahara has formed an alliance, maybe Senegal will also uh, refuse to respond to ECOWAS warning of having the election this month and join the Sahara. I don't think it can be possible because when they were fighting their fight, the Senegalese president, Sall was with the ECOWAS. So I don't think right now when he see Pepe, he will just turn around and, guys, please, can I join you or can I join your group? I don't think so. Let's listen to the opposition leader, a lady, what she has to say. That's what uh, scared me to make this video. I listened to it several times since two days ago. And um, I think she's giving indirect warning to what is to come. And that's what scared me a bit. Let's listen to her first and I'll be back. Thank you so much. Oh, you. We're no negotiating. We're not discussing. We're not postponing. It's one date and we're sticking to it. On Monday, Senegal's parliament voted to push the election back to December, extending President Macky Sall's mandate. That prompted international alarm and a domestic backlash. But protests on Sunday and Monday were fairly small and dispersed by riot police. Babakar said she and fellow opposition leaders had asked their supporters to stay home and remain calm while they tried to challenge the postponement via legal routes. We are preparing, we are cooking. So let nobody get fooled by this peace in the streets. It's going to happen and it might happen in the most heartful way. And as a, as a mother, as a woman. Yeah, we just have to hope because, like I said before, we don't want any um, war or coup or whatever it is in Africa anymore. The world has been staged for a long time and it's as if it is now overdue. And that's why we are seeing all these things one after the other, one after the other. Um, even Ghana here, yeah, there's tension in the air, but we always find peaceful solution. That's what I trust about my Ghana people. There is always a way of finding a peaceful solution. So please, let's pray that there will be peaceful solution in Senegal because if one country do not have peace, the other may not have. Let's listen to more of what she has to say and the, what the UN also said about this. Thank you so much. Get fooled by this peace in the streets. It's going to happen and it might happen in the most heartful way. And as a, as a mother, as a woman, I don't want the blood to, to, to shred again in this country. Saul said the postponement was necessary because a dispute over the candidate list and alleged corruption at the constitutional... In, uh, in Senegal, uh, for the Secretary General, it's very important that all stakeholders uphold a peaceful environment, refrain from violence and any action that can undermine the democratic process and stability in Senegal and to speedily resolve differences through consensus and especially I would say in line with Senegal's uh, long-standing tradition of democratic governance. President On Thursday in Nigeria capital Abuja to discuss the political crisis in Senegal and dispute with military rulers in three other member states. Um, the extraordinary season of the Economic Community of West Africa State ECOWAS follows President Sall's sad decision to delay the election in Senegal just a week after Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger 
declared they were quitting the blog has called for concern. The ECOWAS Mediation and Security Council said ministers would gather to discuss current security and political issues in the region. It remains unclear whether representatives from the four countries being discussed are attending. Um, ECOWAS has urged Senegal, one of its most stable member states, to return to its election timetable, but critics have, critics have already questioned the groups swear over increasingly defined member state. Like I said, people are thinking or are saying that maybe um, Senegal want to join uh, the Sahel group. Whether it's possible, whether it's not possible, we wait to see. All we pray for is for peace to reign between these countries, including Ghana and all the Africa countries that are going to have election or are having Thank election. you so much for watching up to this stage. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri. My returning subscribers, thank you so much. My new subscribers, you are very welcome. I appreciate you coming. Those who are passing by, please consider subscribing and stay with us. I share African news, anything concerning Africa, traveling, and true life stories. So you are very welcome. Stay with us. Like, share, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.